Okay, hello. Good evening, people. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Dayanara. How are you doing? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> okay. Well, good yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, teacher. Miguel, can listen. you hear me? Yes. Loud mm. and clear today. Okay. Yes. Nice. That's right. Okay, yeah, because yesterday we lost contact. But it's okay. And let me see now we have... What do we have? Jimmy Free. Let me share the intermediate. Uh, uh, did you check the material I sent in the WhatsApp group? So that is some extra material for a relative closest. Okay, so we have some relative time closes. All right, so we have this one. Conversation wedding day. Just listen again to this lady and we're going to refresh. Good evening. And find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. So it looks blurry. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually... Oh. Usually, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner. And after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. 
So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, then I think we will have to. Yes. Uh, uh, I am worried uh, because the, I couldn't the answer about the carnival. Um, uh -huh. The uh, all the answer that I put always uh gave me the fake. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the the answer always is a mistake. I don't know. Okay. What what happened? Uh, this one. You... Could you help me? This one. Please. Yes, this one. That one, excuse me. Okay. What about the rest? Do you have any issues with this one? No, no problem. Just I to... I I understand all the listening. Yeah. But, but... I don't I don't know uh, what is the problem when I put the answer. Okay, let's listen. Because I tried to put about the what well, is carnival. Okay, I put let's... that that I think. Uh huh. Okay, let's listen and we we'll see. Okay, let's listen again. Page fifty two, exercise five. Listening, carnival time, part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in... Okay, so what is a Carnival? It's a party. Uh huh. Uh, in Rio, it's a festival. Mm -hmm. It's a party. It's but... a... Uh huh. For example, here, listen to what the guy says. Yeah. Page 52, exercise five. Listening, Carnival time, part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early. Okay, so the carnival is a party? For four whole days. Uh -huh, that lasts for all, four whole four. days. Okay. What did you write, Anna? What's your answer? Anna, what was your answer for the first question? Anna, can you hear me? Okay. Uh huh. What uh, was your answer? So, um, it's a party that lasts for four whole days. That's what you wrote. And yes, I, you... I, I, I don't know what, what happened. Oh, how, what did you? But, but what did what did you type? I, I try put it down. Put it that, in the put, put it in the chat so that maybe we can see. So that I can help you to see the mistake, if it is a mistake or a problem with the platform.
because you know, like Maria says, it can be something short. Okay. Now let's let's listen to all of it, and then after we early March. But you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, when is the when is the carnival? On February. Um okay, in February. He said he said March. Uh delay February or early March. Okay. And what is the samba? So Dance, he said. Uh, everyone dance the samba. Uh -huh, but they doesn't. He doesn't say what. Dance the samba in the street. It's a, it's a dance. It's a dance. Right? It's a dance. Okay, so we have this one. It. It's a dance. Okay, now you can see. All the possible answers. It's a party. Party, party. Carnival is a party. These are all the possible answers. Okay. Look. You can say. So they, uh -huh, they say, for example, well, here, that it's a party. A period. Okay. One little mistake, and then you have wrong the the period complete sentence. Okay. Oh. It's a period. It lasts for four whole days it lasts for four days you can say four days i used capital letter but they didn't four days okay here let 
say four days, four whole days, for four days. Okay, this one, the period again. Okay, these details, it's only the right? Yes, then, now, I, 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 in any, any time, I, Occurred, occurred in my I mind. thought I never thought. I, I never, never thought in my mind. I never uh, thought the the period is a uh, the, the yeah, it's uh, part of a correct um, sentence. Uh huh. Day I try. Oh, yes. Okay. They say it's on late February or early March. Okay, it is on late February or early March. On late February or early March. So here we can say okay. on. Thank you, Fisher. Thank you. But okay, on late. I, I struggled to this uh, today about that. Okay, <laughs> or early March. And then here we have. No, it happens, you know, and then you have the period again. Look. Okay, on the space. Oh, the espacio too, the space. Look. Sometimes also. Also, a spa an extra ex space is a mistake. Okay, an, ex an extra space. If I put an extra, look, it's wrong. I delete the, the space and then it's correct. And here, I think, is the apostrophe. The samba is a dance. It is a dance or it's a dance. When I roll the, I, I try to roll the, uh, the, the, the conversation in my, in my notebook, uh, I have a mistake because uh, I, I have listened uh whole h o h o l d but mm -hmm. i know it's it's w h o l d exactly. no exactly and i don't remember that word okay good also yeah and another situation is the apostrophe uh, if you see the apostrophe in the on the platform is un no rectecito y el que aparece en las computadoras muchas veces es eh, eh, como un slant, así atravesadito, right? Como diagonal. That's why. Thank you, teacher, for okay for the help. tips <laughs> for the tips. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay, just be careful with that, and then you can eliminate mistakes. Good. Okay, so the rest of the people can do the same, right? Then we have the the customs. Okay, here we have, by the end of this session, you will be able to notice the stress and rhythm in sentences. And after we will see the sentences. This video is look terrible. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, Try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, probably here. Leave, 
the bride and groom give them presents. It's a little difficult to, to see, right? Say so after the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. Uh, before, before the guests leave, the guests usually give the bride and groom give them presents and what is the last one the guests usually give money to the bride and groom okay but it looks money awesome. to the bride and groom Let me see if we have the, the sentences. Oh, but only videos and videos. Hi. I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box.
you have this material in the in the group. Okay, for example, you have while, after, because, since. Okay, here you have borrow. These are the most common ones. They say bachelor because. And look at the use. They say, while I was fishing last year, I caught a fish. So here we have adverbial clauses are phrases that function as an adverb in a sentence. A adverbial clauses can be used to show time temporal clauses or cause causal clauses. Okay. Temporal clauses, while I was fishing last year, I caught a fish. That's temporal. Why temporal? Because it's only the moment while I was fishing. Okay, while I was studying my career. Okay, that's a temporal moment of my life. I uh, I was working. I was also working. While I was studying my career, I was also working. Okay, then you have after I finished uh, studying my career, I continued working. Okay, these are temporal situations. And it's the like, other one. Sure. Yeah. It's Excuse me, it's like a, a, a remind uh, when I... A memory. A memory? Uh, not really. Yeah, actually, yes, but it's not with that intention, right? Here is just expressing something that, that while I was doing something, then something else was happening, right? Uh, for example, after I... After I have dinner, I I watch TV. Okay, this is a routine. Okay, or something probably a habit that I have. So it could be a memory, it could be a routine, different situations. But a memory could be, if you say, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to go to the... the to the soccer field and and play in the afternoon. And while I was playing, there is a memory, right? Because you are, uh, remember good moments, good or bad moments, okay? But you can use them in that situation. Okay, when you have causal ad adverbial clauses, the second one here, then is when we use because. Because my sister knew how I felt, she took me to the mall. Okay, because my sister broke my cell phone, she bought me a new one. Okay, because my boss uh, knows that I work very hard, uh, he uh, gave me a salary raise last month. Okay, this is uh, a cause, a reason. Because he knows that I do this, he did something else. Since I had never been to Japan, I brought a guidebook with me. Uh, since I, had ne I have never, in the past, since I had never... Uh, studied Japanese, I didn't understand anything in class. Since I had not studied for the exam, I had no idea what to answer in the test. Okay, so these are situations where you're going to use a reason, because or since. So you can see the 
adverbial clauses here. And this is another way to use it, right? If this is a reduced form. But in this moment, you have to focus on the sentences on the left. While I was biking last summer, I fell and hurt my knee. After we had pitched the tent, we ate dinner. Uh, because Jessie knew I had forgotten mine, she let me borrow her sleeping bag. Since I had never played spades before, I was not very good. Okay, now in the chat, try to write some uh, sentences using while. For example, while, while I was uh, watching the program, okay, uh, my, my tortillas, okay, what? While I was watching the program, my tortillas, my tortillas burned. While I was studying tonight, my wife cooked the dinner. While I was cooking the dinner, I watched candy on the TV. On TV. <laughs> okay. Um, candy, the cartoons. Okay, what else? Remember that in this one, here we have to use the comma, right? While I was biking last summer, comma, I felt and hurt my knee. While I was speaking the dinner, I watched and it be, yes. Ah, okay, good. Uh, okay, what about the others? Kenya, write a sentence, Juan Carlos, Cesar. Herber, don't be shy. Well, I know why they were wash. Yes. What? Uh, write your sentences, write sentences in the chat. Okay, say so while they were washing the dishes. Watching the dishes. Okay, we can say. Uh, well, I was making the summer. I saw them. They were washing the dishes. The music was playing. Okay, well I but they were washing the dishes, the music was playing. While she was cooking dinner, okay, her her sister was cleaning the house. Then don't forget the Jeremy the Angie. While I was studying. Okay, remember that we had to use the ing. While I was visiting my parents, while I was visiting my parents, I connected to my English class. Okay, yes, Maria. While I was visiting, remember that we're using the progressive tense here, right? While I was biking, look here in the example. While I was biking.
while I was working home, my nephew was playing. Yes. While I was working at home, my nephew was playing. Yes, Diana. What else? Think about other sentences. But you can use also after, right? Look at the example here with after. Okay, another sentence that you can use is there's another sentence that you can use after after I wrote my sentence, I felt happy. After I took a shower, I got dressed okay after i finished my homework i ate my lunch okay so you can use that one too here while i was washing my clothes i listened to my english class while i was making a, making a cake my children waited to eat it okay good now if, now we can use after after i broke my leg, I stopped playing basketball. Okay, now use after. After I broke my leg, I stopped playing basketball. Ahora con after. Okay. After I took the class, I went to bed. Okay, good.
Another one with after. After I finished university, I didn't get a job. Okay. Come on, come on, one more. Good, good mercy. And then we have, after I took a shower, I had dinner, perfect. Okay. After I, after I left my work, I went to the bus station. After I finished university, I didn't get a job. After I took a shower and dinner, after I clean up, I took a shower. After I left the supermarket. What happened, Rebecca, after you left the supermarket? What happened after I left the supermarket? I saw I saw Cheyenne outside. Huh? After I left the supermarket, I went to the I went to I went to the hardware store. I went home. After I left the supermarket, I went home. Okay, so these are possible answers to complete, right? Uh, after she danced salsa, she finished. She ended up tired. Okay, she ended up tired. Okay. Good. Okay, so these are time. Time adverbial closes. And because it makes no sense, it is not complete. Once you see them, We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses that defines the one. After. Okay, so remember you can use when. When I left the house, eh, everybody was sleeping. Okay. Um. When you say when I left the house, everybody was sleeping. When I left the house, it was early. After I finished my lunch, I I drank water. So I had a meeting. Uh, before I started this class, I had another class. Since you, uh, since you don't, uh, since you don't pay, no, since you don't have a car, you have to take the bus. Okay, until, until you tell me the truth. Okay, I will. Uh, no, I don't know. Until. Until we finish this exercise, we are going to continue with the other. Okay, and then you have while and whenever. Whenever is similar to when. Okay, whenever you want, you can tell me more sentences. Okay, now, verbally, orally, 
you tell me a couple of sentences. When I made the breakfast, everybody was sleeping. Okay, good. That's nice. Okay. Uh, who wants to tell me a sentence? Using when, after, before, since, until, while, or whenever. Yes, Maria, tell me a sentence. Using one of those words. When I was a teenager, I loved to to uh, to hear the radio. To listen to the radio, yeah. To listen to music, yeah, the radio. Me too. It was nice. Nice radio programs. Good. Okay, uh, Rebecca, tell me a sentence using after. After, after the class, I went to the supermarket. Okay, after the class, I went to the supermarket. Very good. Luis Miguel, tell me a sentence. Choose a word. Um, after I din I, I eat. I usually watch a movie. Okay, after I eat, I usually watch a movie. Very good, nice. Uh, Amanda, tell me a sentence. Okay, Angel. Can you tell me a sentence using one of those words? Adverbial clauses. No. Andrea, Andrea de Janara. I know when, you can. When I was a student, um, I had more friends. <laughs> Yes, actually it's true. Yeah, when I was a student, I had more friends because after that, you know, we have more work, stay home, so it's more difficult to socialize. Good, Mercy, tell me a sentence. Uh, before my English class, I was working. Before my English class, I was working. Okay, good. What about the other one? Uh, Martin, tell me a sentence. On the left side, we don't have people. Byron. What about one sentence? Hello, Byron. Hello. Okay, tell me a sentence using when, after, before, since, until, while, or whenever. Okay. Uh, until. Mm -hmm. Until, since, while, whenever. Uh, for example, I didn't know the truth until you told me. I didn't know the sun until I uh, heard it okay Thanks. think about one sentence good Catherine tell me a sentence Catherine went to bed already no okay Kenya
Come on, Kenny, come on. Okay, no, I cannot hear you. I think you have your microphone on, but the volume is not working. Okay, we have to move quickly now. Anna, Anna tell me a sentence. A sentence with when, mm. after, before. Uh, before. Anything, no, anyone. Uh, you choose. Since have we have been uh, study still there uh, we are okay. Study no anything. Okay. We have we okay, since we have been is study English, mm -hmm. uh, we learn more. We have learned more. Oh, we learn more. Yes. Good. Okay. okay, Herbert. What? Tell okay. me a sentence using one uh, of those words. After, after two, uh, after uh, two, uh, uh, well, when uh, I was, I was young, I, I like to play football. When I was young, I like to play football. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Cesar, Cesar Rauda. While it was raining, I I was sleeping. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it's so nice to sleep when it's raining. Yeah. Okay, good. Juan Carlos, the last one. Uh, with while? Yeah, it's okay with while. Okay, I try. Uh, while my dog uh, played in the park, I read a good book. I read a good book or I read a good book. Okay, good. That's a nice one. Okay, people, at least, you know, you have the chance to practice one sentence. So now you have the idea of how the time closes work, right? The adverbial closes of time. Then, we have this exercise here. Okay, uh, Rebecca, you were asking about the question, yes? About the carnival, right? This is the one, Rebecca. Yes, um, is the... No, no, no vi bien esa, esa respuesta. Okay, you say on? Late, late February. February okay. or? Okay. Early? Early? March. Okay. And period. Oh. Period. Uh -huh. El punto, period. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, now we have this one. We have like six exercises here. Almost done, almost finished. So we have, before a man and woman get married, they usually Mm, pay, go on, give the right, gives the woman what? Which one would you choose? Maybe the second, the the third. The, uh, no, uh -huh. sorry. Uh, the second one. Go on a uh, short trip called a uh, honeymoon. Before or after? 
Ah, sorry. Ajá. Eh, maybe behind to plan the wedding. Maybe. Maybe before a man and a woman get married, they usually eh, give a bride, gives a woman. Go go on a short trip for the uh, honeymoon. Before. Yes. Before or after? No, uh, the, uh, the second uh, one is yes, after. Yes, after, yes, right. after. Before when I, they is other beginning. Maybe the it gives the woman a diamond, diamond ring. ring. Okay. Begin to plan. Then you say right after a couple gets engaged, they usually. Go on the street calling honey. So okay, I show you this one because we will soon. Okay, so here you have an idea, it was good. So then this is before a woman and get married, they usually date. Okay, selling in citas, right? Date each other for about a year. Okay. When a couple engage, the men often gives a woman a diamond ring. Okay. Then we have this one. Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually begin to plan the wedding. And when a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding. Oh. Oh, when true. people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the bride in room a gift or some money. And right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. That is after, right? After they get married. Okay, for tomorrow, please. Well, study the this the material that I gave you, the before, uh, when, after, when, uh, right after, before, while, until. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to practice using those words. Also, we have. And then tomorrow we're going to, to read this paragraph. And then we have we're going to check the midterm exam. Okay. We're going to be checking also the midterm exam. And then we finish unit three. So we will be ready to start unit four. Uh, let me see now. Quickly, I'm going to check the attendance before we go. Okay, so we have
Okay. So let me see. We have uh, Amanda Yamilips. Yes, uh, we have Ana Beatriz. Yeah, Andrea Dayanara is here. Mercy is here. Present. I'm here, Zach. Okay, Byron. Byron Giovanni. Okay, so Byron. Okay, um, Cesar Ivan. Present teacher. Then we have Dennis Adonai. Herbert Adan. Present. Yes, Herbert. Catherine, no, Juan Carlos Cubillas. Present teacher. Catherine. Present. Kenia Yamilet. Present. Uh, Maria Delmi. Present. Martin De Jesus. And so Martin was here early. Yes, he left. Nuria Sarai. Not just to come anymore. Uh, Rebecca Vigail, yes. And Stephanie Jamilet. She's not here. Okay, people. Then don't forget, tomorrow practice the, the adverbial clauses. Okay, until, before, after, uh, when, while, because, since. Okay, and we're going to practice those. And then we're going to read the customs, unique customs. Okay, nice people. Have a good night. Tomorrow we will continue with the class. Did you? Uh, how difficult was it for you to learn? Oh, wait, I mean, Anna. Uh, not very difficult, Anna. It was easy because I like it. Yes, Miguel. Teacher, uh, I don't listen my name in the list. Oh yeah, yeah, but but I mark because I saw okay. you there. Yes, you uh you were here. Good, no problem, Miss Miguel. Okay, people. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, same time. Good Be night, good. everybody. Okay, bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.